Hey everyone, Wicked Jodo here. Time for some more raiding random brutals. Um, and we're just gonna jump straight into a uh, champion. So let's do that. Stage 9, so this one's uh, done with capacity actually, so uh, this is a medium, okay, wow, he's like covered the entire plot. That's um, that's actually good for us um, in some ways because that's a lot of capacity to commit to um, building this outside structure. Uh, let's see what's up here. Okay, so that's an exit. Sure. Okay, let's get started. Uh, so st mm. I don't really want to shoot it, but if I don't, I'm gonna get stuck. So, God, this is not good. Let's just shoot up. Um, okay, so lasers not explode. Okay. Okay, let's just back up. Um, I just find with lasers the, the wind up time is too slow. Um, this is... okay let's take care of him. So see that animation where he pulls up his cannon? Um, normally what I do is I shoot for the cannon. Because that actually doesn't deflect crossbow bolts, in case you were wondering. Um, I think we gotta do this, and we gotta do this, unfortunately. Um, that puts us in a really bad spot, but without it... Um, okay, so he's got a mum patrol. These aren't splash, which is good for us. Um, so those are sentinels, I believe, so let's try and see if we can aggro this guy. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then we can shoot the cannon there. Alright, so I think we can grab our bolts without hitting these sentinels, so let's try and do that. Right. Wait for them to fire, and then grab. Okay. Yeah, bad luck. Okay, so I think there was a flame trap here. Flame trap to the side, I think, as well. Um, we could have went up a little bit, I guess, but that's alright. It, it's a bit tricky because um, the way that outside pyramid is structured means you can't grab your bolts. We, we can try, but like, I'm pretty sure you're not going to be able to grab it. Um, this guy knows what he's doing. Um, what we could try is maybe... Um, yeah, I don't know. We can try this? Yeah. Okay, I think that's the play. It might be a double. Um, but let's let that fire. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this... Okay, it's only a single, so that's good. Good for us. Uh, let's try and kill this cannon back. There we go. Wait for him to charge. Um, and I kind of want to favor this side, so let's, that's sentry, yep, let's try and, oh shit, <laughs> almost forgot about that. Okay, let's go for him. Okay, and see that cannon? That's completely vulnerable to cross crossbow so take advantage of that. I'm actually gonna retreat here because I didn't actually want to aggro that and I don't want to shoot it um, if we can help it. Okay so let's take out this sentinel I think and because what I'm trying to do is aggro as least as possible just so that I can try and grab our bolts safely. Yeah. This is not good. 
This is a tough one. Um, it's simple enough, but yeah. Um, I think the Sentinel is more pressing, so let's do this. This does mean I'm out of bolts, but I believe it's more of a threat. We don't know what's below here, but let's grab this. Oops. Okay, let's take care of that. We'll jump up here. Let him kind of do his thing. Shoot him in the foot. Oh, that's gone. Okay. Um, at least it's a crossbow bolt, not a heavy bolt, let's see. There is that. Okay, but we're, we're stabilised, I, I believe. Uh, there's just that sentry, wherever that is. Um, okay, flames. Let's take care of this, otherwise I'll forget. And I think we are good. Great. Get rid of that. Um, what could that be? Probably bombs, if I had to guess. Is like bombs feeding through this, coming out this side, so let's be on the lookout to that. Okay. Oh, you see that? The, um... The, uh... <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Why didn't you aggro before? Oh, you know what it is. Oh, let me take it out and I'll explain. Okay. Um, this is actually really clever. I'll, I'll kind of walk through what I think actually happened. Um, this is a bit of a pain in the A. We might be able to collect it from there, but maybe not. I think we just ignore it. Okay, what happened? <laughs> because think about this, we had a um, cannon back here but that didn't aggro that brute, so what happened is I believe he activated through bloodlust or from vision even um, from up here, so he jumped down and then kind of pincered us. Um, meanwhile, this guy aggros and then is rushing forward. This guy is coming from behind and kind of meeting us in the middle there. So you can even see on his arm he's got blood loss. Um, that, that's really clever. That's pretty high level play um, from the builder. Uh, so we're, we've got a bit of a fork here. Let's just make sure. Yeah, you, you can probably see this is the same cube as like all ar all around. So there's probably one guard was sitting here, another guard must have been sitting here, and then he just kind of runs up. Uh, very interesting. Um, not, nice play there. All right, let's keep going. Got some tombs. Let's just scope it out first. Okay. Nothing yet. Bolts. My aim's a bit off today. Alright, let's take care of you. That's basically the main reason why we're doing this. Okay. I'm wondering what this room's about. Like maybe you ran out of capacity or something. Like you probably started work on the beginning. I, I forget if it it was nine, right? Um, that's a strange hollow cube as well. Not exactly sure what's going on. I, if I had to guess, he ran out of capacity, um, which can happen with big builds like this. 
um, you end up dedicating too much to the, you know, the aesthetics or whatever and not actually enough to traps. So keep that in mind when you're building. It's like, it's fine if you do want to do this, but just keep in mind, like, you are sacrificing um, effectiveness um, of your base. Okay, let's just do that. Uh, oh shit. Get the F out of there. Yeah. So let me explain what happened there, and why I got out of there. Basically, there was a hollow cube here. This explodes. Um, I, I think it was a it wasn't a spike trap. It might have been a piston or something. No, I can't. No, it was a flame trap. This exploded. That's right. This exploded. This then revealed this. That then reveals let let's. So this has masquerade. Um, the hollow cube, and then that's enough to let that um, that warmonger kind of free. So ba basically, the way you do this is um, the warmonger's path is to go through this cube just slightly enough so that it stops the warmonger starting until that cube reveals. Um, and then he kind of passed up through here. That's why there was a hollow cube there as well. So that all makes sense. Um, clever play, um, but yeah. Normally, when I see an explode with like a revealed hollow cube, I just get get the hell out. Um, that, that's kind of your best play as a raider. Um, but otherwise, yeah, great, great play, and it'll it'll uh, catch new players off guard. So. Um, there is that. Okay, let, let's keep going. Um, let, let us know in the comments if you want to see like an in-depth build guide um, in maybe a build my bases guide. Let me know in the comments and I'll throw one together. Um, that might actually be to a tomb, so I kind of have to do this even though I don't want to. And that's why I went around the long way, just for devious stuff like that. Okay, cool. So that's two tombs. So that's all tombs. Uh, we did die once uh, to, yeah, that flame trap at the beginning. Okay. All right. Uh, now, which way? I think this. Mm, no. Okay. Let's back back. That's likely either a dead man or... Yeah, let's see. Oof, that had Hunter too. Sneaky. Um, interesting. I, I think I get what he wanted to do is... He wanted me to back back into this and then this shoots from the front. And if I kind of went to the left there, it probably had enough... Um, site to kind of follow through. Unfortunately, this is bedrock, um, which is unfortunate for him. If this was a hollow cube or something, he, it might have shot through and got me. So, um, it's a little unfortunate, but sometimes you can't help with the build you're given in terms of the outpost. Um, okay, so he really likes his his sneaky hollow cube plays. Um, by the looks. Um, that's fake, or could be fake, so we'll kind of sit back here and snipe. Yep. Um, so that's a bolt trap. Yep. So we'll just kind of let that fire. I, I believe that's a hunter. Yep, and that's just a single. Okay. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was armoured or not, so that's why I used the heavy there. Um, that could be fake, and it is. Okay, dead man. Just get, 
get out of there. So that exploded that, okay. That could be fake, and it is. Let's just back it back. All the way back. There it is. Alright. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Ooh, bombs. I think I got up before it was able to shoot, but yeah, I only just got that off. Okay. Not a bad build, um, to be honest. Like, um, I am kind of pointing stuff out here and there, but it's it's actually pretty well put together. Very devious kind of traps. Yeah, lots of hollow cubes. Like, um, anytime I see bedrock, th this is one problem um, as a builder, just to be aware of, is um, the more repeating traps you put in your base, um, the more likely raiders will catch on and try to anticipate what kind of traps you're throwing together. So, for this particular builder, he's using, in my opinion, too many. Um, Hollow cubes. So now, like as a raider, I'm going out of my way to shoot as many bedrocks as possible. Okay. Alright. Arrows this way. Okay. Ah, oh, I see. So there's a. Do we want to trigger it, or do we want to... Uh, let's just trigger it, I guess. Oh, sorry, I mean, shoot up. The problem with triggering it, if it um, doesn't have the long range mod, um, you can be stuck, like, halfway through a hallway, and, like, those arrows travel fast, like, faster than your um, grapple. So, just keep that in mind. Alright, uh, yeah, well, the good thing is these are painted, um, these are lights, so you can't have stuff on that, um, that's painted, so we should actually be safe here, but let's be cautious, okay, now we have two options, we can go this way or this way, let's try going this way. Just in case of if it's an easy way out. Okay. Okay. Oh, it might lead us to the the top. Got it. Um, and I don't think. Yeah. Great. Yeah, that that was really well done. Um, the builder was Tac Fifty Nine, and the map was Katana. Um, so. Well done to the builder. I, I really like that. Okay. Um, so th thanks everyone for joining. If you like this kind of content, consider liking and subscribing. It really helps uh, us out. And we'll see you in the next one.